Hello chaps, it's Commodore Graham here. I thought I'd make a very uh, quick and simple tutorial on how to install Mod Organizer for Skyrim Special Edition and uh, the basics on how to start installing mods using it. Um, now the first question is why would you use Mod Organizer instead of say Nexus Mod Manager? Uh, I find Mod Organizer a lot um, more flexible in that um, it's a lot easier to install and then uninstall mods if you don't like them without everything breaking because it sets up its own virtual mod folder instead of writing things into your actual game data folder. So I hope that made sense. Anyway, let's carry on with how you actually do this. Um, all of the links, or all, of, all of the web pages you're going to see here, there's going to be links in the description, so don't worry about that. Uh, you go to this page to download um, Mod Organizer, just with this link here. Save, and um, personally, I'm putting it in, where is it? Skyrim Special Edition Modding. So I made a, I made a folder for it specially, so let's save that there. Uh, that'll take a few seconds. Um, oh, uh, obviously, before you do this, it's a good idea to install Skyrim Special Edition, as stupid as that might sound, and run the game at least once. You know, go to the... Start it up and go to the title screen, the title menu, all of that. So um, when, you've, um, when you've installed it... Hold on. Go to the next point on my notepad here. Uh... Go to where you've um, where you've put uh, the file you just downloaded. Whoops, it's not there. <laughs> it's here, uh, and run it. So uh, there's a license you have to agree with. That's fine. Uh, there's a couple of options here. You can tell it whether you want it to handle direct Nexus download links and whether you want a start menu shortcut. I'm not going to check either of those. I tend to uh, download the files manually and then install the mods from where I've downloaded them to. Anyway, so just click next. This is not where you want to store Mod Organizer. You might want to have several instances of Mod Organizer for different games. So it makes sense to put uh, to install it into your actual game folder for Skyrim Special Edition. I'm just going to copy this mod organizer part here and uh, then browse to where you have your Skyrim special edition folder. Um, in my case, it's, uh, it's in this games folder that I have here. But uh, if you go to your Steam folder, navigate through Steam, uh, Steam apps, common, and there you go, you've got Skyrim Special Edition. So select that, click OK, and I'm just going to paste Mod Organizer on the end just to make a, a dedicated Mod Organizer folder inside my Skyrim Special Edition folder. So install. This will take a few seconds, so I guess um, I'll just skip to the end. OK, um, it's all installed. Now it gives you the option of running Mod Organizer. You don't want to run Mod Organizer yet, so uncheck that. Click Finish. Because the thing is that uh, Mod Organizer does not work with Skyrim Special Edition straight out of the box. You need to install a little plugin file. So that's the next thing we're going to do. So if I go back to my browser, and again, there'll be, uh, there'll be a link to this in the description, uh, you've got a plugin for Mod Organizer 2 for... Um, Skyrim Special Edition. So let's download that. You go to the Files tab. And just uh, you've got this file here game underscore Skyrim SE underscore etc. etc. So just download that manually. Save that. And I'm going to save that to the same, um, the same folder that I saved uh, the, the mod organizer installation file. That should download pretty much instantly. So, oh, wait, wait, we already have that folder open. Uh, just go to that file, extract it, 
and inside the in extracted folder there'll be a file called game underscore skyrim se dot dll so just copy that go to your skyrim folder into the mod organizer folder that we installed mod organizer into just uh, just before go to the plugins folder and just paste in that uh, that file that we just downloaded now this should allow um, mod organizer to hook itself into Skyrim special edition whereas uh, if we hadn't done this it it wouldn't have worked so uh, if we go back to the actual mod organizer folder this is uh, this is the file to run mod organizer but just um, for ease of use later on I'm going to right click drag and create a shortcut for it right there Actually, I'll just put it. I'll put it there, and uh, we can then use that to open Mod Organizer. And um, we have to create an instance of Mod Organizer right from the start. You want to select Portable, um, because then it'll use the Mod Organizer folder to sit to um, contain the data for whatever mods you're using. So just click portable uh, it'll ask you whether you want to see a tutorial of the basic features you can do that if you want it'll show you show you some stuff might be useful uh, I'm going to click no however uh, it's telling me mod organizers not set up to handle Nexus links because I didn't select that so um, I'm going to click no again right so here we go we can now run Skyrim Special Edition from Mod Organizer. So from now on, when you want to play the game, start up Mod Organizer. Make sure Skyrim Special Edition is selected in this drop down box and just click Run. We're not going to do that now because I don't want the game to start running. Uh, what we're going to do is install a mod so that I can show you the basic process there. So you go to this icon here, which is to install a new mod from an, from an archive. And um, then find wherever you've put uh, put your mod. But we don't actually have the mod yet. Um, well, uh, so so for for this example, I'm going to use Skyrim Flora Overhaul since it's a very popular mod, and installing it brings up uh, brings up a common issue with installing mods in mod organizer that i want to illustrate so again you know you just go to the files tab and um and download that that takes quite a while but it's okay because i uh, downloaded it earlier so if we go back to mod organizer i'll go to where i put that let's see uh doo -doo 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 Ah, here it is. So, Skyrim Flora Overhaul. I actually don't want that in that folder, so let's just grab it, put it here instead. Um, so, open, open the uh, archive file that you just downloaded for whatever mod you've downloaded, and it'll bring up this uh, this dialog here. And don't click OK, you want to select Manual. And you're about to see the reason for that. So, um, it just so happens, and this happens occasionally with, uh, with mods, that um, the, the, the file structure is not set up quite right for Mod Organizer. Um, hold on, let's, let's, get back, let's get past this, uh, this tutorial dialogue here. Um, now, the problem is the game data that we want isn't on the top level. What, what it means is the game data is not in the data folder. The reason is that uh, the, the uh, archive file we just downloaded has its own data folder, if that makes sense. So if we uh, expand that, what you see is all of these uh, files and folders that should be in the data 
folder for the for the uh, for mod organizer here. So the way to fix that is to just select them all and move the, and just drag and drop them to the data folder. Then we can uh, uncheck this empty data folder that uh, that that was in the actual archive file, and we have the meshes, textures, and uh, ESP and initialization files, etc., all in the place they should be. The data folder um, for uh, uh, for the game, or rather for mod organizer. So. Once you do that, it will usually automatically tell you, okay, that looks fine. This looks like everything's going to be installed in the right place. And you can just click OK. And then it'll take however long it takes to install that mod. Uh, in this case, it's a large-ish mod, so it'll take, um, it'll take several seconds. Not too long, though. Right, and when it's installed, now, here it is, but it's not actually active. So if, if you want it to um, show up in the game itself, you have to check that box. And uh, you'll see that the, hold on, the ESP file for this mod, not all mods have ESP files, but if there are any, they'll show up in this list of... Uh, of game files here as well. So that's basically it. That's how you uh, install Mod Organizer, get it to work for Skyrim Special Edition, and install a mod even if it hasn't been packaged in quite the standard way that Mod Organizer likes. So uh, I hope uh, I hope that video was useful. If it was, do please click the like button. It helps out rather a lot. Share this video with anyone you think. Uh, might find it useful. Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section below and subscribe if and only if you'd like to see more. Ta-ta for now, chaps.